died. And more than two years ago, on June 29, 2011, baby Kate was murdered. And this was first to believed uh, to be a missing persons case. And law enforcement conducted an extensive search for baby Kate. And many volunteers valiantly participated in this effort and the search for this innocent child. And I thank the volunteers, I thank the members of law enforcement, some of whom are here today, you know, uh, volunteers from across the community, and I appreciate their, their work, their intensity, and their passion on this case. Now, unfortunately, baby Kate would not be found because she was murdered by Sean Phillips. In April of 2012, Mason County Prosecutor Paul Spaniola, and Paul, you've done a terrific job on this case, charged Sean Phillips with unlawful imprisonment, which is a form of kidnapping. A jury agreed and convicted Sean Phillips for the crime, and he was been sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison and is currently serving that sentence. Now, as many of you know, the investigation into baby Kate's disappearance did not end with a conviction. And since then, the Ludington uh, Police, and I appreciate Chief Barnett, the Michigan State Police, I thank the commander of the Harp Post, uh, Lieutenant Levitt, for being here today and his work and his colleagues, and many others, many others. Kim Cole from the Mason County Sheriff's Department and his team, everybody working together, have continued this investigation. And as a result, new evidence has been discovered. New evidence has been discovered which supports a murder charge in this case. And today we are charging Sean Phillips with open murder for the death of his daughter, baby Kate. We have evidence that we are convinced will prove beyond a reasonable, beyond a reasonable doubt that Sean Phillips murdered his own daughter, baby Kate. The maximum penalty for this crime is life imprisonment. This case will be prosecuted jointly by my office with Donna Pender Pendergrast and our Mason County Prosecutor, Paul Spaniola. Now, unfortunately, we will never be able to bring baby Kate back. She was the innocent victim of a terrible crime at the hands of her own father, no less. This is a tragic case. It just makes you sick. There'll be no first birthday party for baby Kate, no first day of kindergarten, no first Christmas. And her sister Haley will grow up without the love and friendship of her sister. Sean Phillips, however, Phillips, however will be held accountable for his actions and will finally see justice for baby Kate. I would now like to turn this over to Prosecutor Spaniola for a few brief remarks, and then Chief Barnett as well, and then we'll take questions from members of the press. Paul? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Attorney General. <clears throat> Good afternoon. I'm Paul Spaniola. I'm Mason County Prosecuting Attorney. It was about a year ago that I reached out to the Attorney General's office for assistance in this matter. This case has been so prominent in our community and in our county that we have lived this case ever since the afternoon of June 29th of 2011. Therefore, I felt it was important to take a fresh look at its completeness and with an eye toward prosecuting this case as a murder case without a body. Donna Pendergast is a highly accomplished trial prosecutor who has tried no body homicide cases before. She has quickly mastered the facts of this case and much of the evidence in this case, and I'm very comfortable with her assignment to this case. My role will still be significant. We have a number of high profile cases in this county lately, including the recent murder of Trooper Paul Butterfield and the non-fatal shooting of Ludington Police Department Sergeant Dave Maltby that will shortly be going to trial, as well as a number of other serious cases which have forced me to look outside my office for assistance. General Schutte, Assistants Rick Cunningham and Tom Cameron, who's here today, for approving my request for assistance in assigning such a top-flight prosecutor as Donna Pendergast to the file. 
I also wish to thank the appellate division under the supervision of Annika Letica, which handles appeals of right for approximately 56 of the smaller counties of the state, including ours, which is handling Mr. Phillips' appeal of his unlawful imprisonment and conviction. As for that case, the appeal remains pending, and oral argument has been requested by both sides and has not yet been scheduled. That's the extent of my remarks, uh, direct remarks. Thank you. Thank you for coming today. Let me turn it over to uh, Chief Barnett, Chief of the Ludington Police. On July 29, 2011, the Ludington Police Department was called to 922 East Tinkham Avenue in the city of Ludington on a civil disturbance. Based on the information that the officers received, it was determined that a four-month-old Catherine Shelby Elizabeth Phillips had been abducted. Over the past 27 months, investigators from the Ludington Police Department, Mesa County Sheriff's Office, the Michigan State Police, um, the FBI, as well as a number of other law enforcement agencies and corrections agencies, fire departments, other emergency responders, family members, uh, those from academia, concerned citizens from nearby and from across the country. I'd like to thank Attorney General Schutte, Prosecutor Spaniola. Uh, for this announcement today and for their assistance in this, this investigation. The men and women of the Ludington Police Department and the Mason County Sheriff's Office and indeed the entire community want nothing more than truth to be revealed and justice for baby Kate. It's my belief that this announcement today brings us one step closer to that goal. Thank you. Well, thank you, Chief. Thank you, uh, Prosecutor Spaniola. I'd be happy to take uh, any questions from members of the press. We were, uh, started working together with uh, the Mason County Prosecutor's Office uh, last fall. It's about a year. You mentioned you new evidence. Can you talk a little bit about what that is and whether or not it had anything to do with the botanical search? Well, you know, there's uh, been pre news reports, press reports about the botanical search and, and you know, letters and, and all of that. But uh, all this evidence will come out of trial and it will be, uh, you know, full and complete. Let me just say it's been, it was... An exhaustive investigation, thorough and complete, which is the hallmark of our judicial system. And I, again, I uh, compliment uh, the sheriff's office, the, the chief of police, Prosecutor Spaniola, the MSP, all who work together with that one goal, as the chief so eloquently said, to try to find justice for baby Kate. And that's why, uh, after looking at we'll talk about a trial, uh, we are convinced beyond reasonable doubt to prove that. Uh, Sean Phillips uh, murdered his daughter, Baby Kate. Was the search for her body over? Was that done yet? You know, we always, the investigation, um, you know, all, we always will receive and uh, be open for, for new evidence. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that, but uh, uh, we, we are convinced beyond, uh, we are convinced that uh, our charges of open murder are warranted and that indeed a jury will come back with a conviction of Sean Phillips and the death of his daughter. So do you think that the plant seeds did help in this? Present of evidence in, in the trial here at the press conference. When did you say the trial starts? Uh, well, we just filed charges today, so, and he'll be arraigned uh, shortly. You're, you're fr are you from the press? Just, yes, I, I'm yes. not trying to be rude. I just couldn't quite say. Yes, yes ma'am. Um, of all the cases in the state of Michigan, you know, why get involved in this one? You're awesome. Because the because of his request? Or? You know, we do this from time to time as the chief law enforcement of the state of Michigan. Uh, we work with prosecutor's office across our state, uh, ones from populated counties and ones from smaller counties. And uh, at and that's what we're doing in this instance. This is a significant case, and uh, we are delighted to work in partnership with the uh, Mason County authorities. With this charge, are we closer to closing the case? 
I think we are, and, and the fact is, is that uh, uh, we are convinced uh, with the new evidence that has come to light that's been discovered that indeed uh, uh, we will prove beyond a reasonable, but reasonable doubt that uh, Sean Phillips took uh, his own daughter's life, and uh, we'll get a conviction. As far as new charges, is the homicide charge the only one? There is one count of open murder against Sean Phillips for the death of his daughter. You don't expect more? You know, we've charged one count, and we're going to proceed accordingly and uh, thoroughly, aggressively, and uh, with, uh, uh, with justice always the focus. Do you need the appeal to finish before you can go to trial with this charge? No, they're separate cases. And uh, the appeal is about uh, un unlawful imprisonment, which is a form of kidnapping. This is a, a separate, complete separate charge because a death is, is involved, and so they, they run on separate courses. Any other questions from members of the press? Donna and Paul, Paul Spaniel and Donna Pendergrass will be working in a coordinated joint fashion to prosecute this case. And I have uh, great faith uh, in them. We have significant expertise, our office does, Donna does, uh, with working on cases when you uh, may not have, uh, find a, a, a body uh, necessarily, but we've had uh, great success in having justice be delivered and having convictions. Will that be prosecuted here in Mason County? Will they, will, 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 if, if it goes to trial, will, it, will that trial happen? That, that's, my, that's our expectation. Uh, could you expect a change of venue? I mean, it's pretty high. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not going to get into all the, the, the legal weeds at this point in time, uh, but the fact is, is that... Uh, uh, Victims of crime can never be forgotten. They can never be forgotten. And that's my job, to be a voice for victims of crime. That's law enforcement's job, to be voices for victims of crime. That's what we're doing here today, and that's what will come out of this uh, trial when we're done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chief. Thank you. Okay, thank you.